Hi there. How are you? You don't seem to have many customers. I have one very important customer. Do you mean Steric? Beginning of each month, he comes in and buys all the provisions he needs. The rest of the month, I just open out of habit. Do you sell weapons? You mean revolvers, rifles? That's right. No, it's not allowed. But I can sell you ammunition. If you're interested... Do you have sticks of dynamite? Naturally, but its sale is strictly regulated. You need a special permit to buy it, and you have to pay for it with an authorized check. Without both of those, I can't sell you any. Where can I get a permit to buy dynamite? That kind of permit is granted by the sheriff. You can ask for one in the office next door. How much should the authorized check be for? To buy dynamite? Yes. A hundred dollars. In the bank, they can make one out for you. I want to buy a few things. Choose what you'd like. I'll come immediately to take your payment. I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. What a strange gadget. It's a Tyrolean harness. Perfect for sliding down ropes, for example. And it's only five dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. Excuse me a moment. I'll be right with you. How much are the pliers? Two dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. I'm sorry. Don't you have today's papers? Out-of-date newspapers are all we have. We don't get regular deliveries around here. They're expensive, but real interesting. We have the morning sun with the story about the blowing up of the bridge, the evening star with the story about the bank robbery in Toledo, Ohio, and the nightly moon with the story about the escape from the Mexican jail. How much is the one with the story about the robbery? The Evening Star? Six dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. Hi there. Can I help you? I want to send a telegram. Go ahead. Mr. President, the White House. I want my political career to follow in your famous footsteps, comma. I need a grant for my election campaign, stop. Very warmly, Fenimore Fillmore, stop. Telegrams to the White House have a surcharge. That's four dollars in total. That's all right. Go ahead.
Hi there. Can I help you? Has anything arrived for me? Name? Fillmore. Fenimore Fillmore. Fillmore. Yes. Um, here it is. It's from the White House. Dear voter, comma, here's $20 for your campaign. Good luck. Regards the pre- The president? Warning. This message will self-destruct. Hi there. Can I help you? I want to send a telegram. Go ahead. Aunt Philomena, New York City, New York. I need you to lend me a hundred dollars, comma. You're my favorite aunt. Stop. Your nephew, Fenimore. Stop. That'll cost you two dollars to send. Go ahead and send it. Hi there. Can I help you? Has anything arrived for me? Name? Fillmore. Fenimore Fillmore. Fillmore. Yes. Um, here it is. It's from New York. Dear nephew, comma, here's the money you asked for. Your Aunt Philomena, ten dollars? But I asked her for a hundred. Warning, this message will self-destruct. Hi there. Can I help you? I want to send a telegram. Go ahead. Dear Sam the Pianist, Big Town, Arizona. Fenimore here, the one who helped you out of that well. Stop. I'm in a fix, and I need some money. Stop. It's two dollars. Here you are. Go ahead. The second biggest bank in Toledo, Ohio has been robbed. Thieves took advantage when employees were momentarily distracted to bypass a sophisticated security camera by placing a photo of the cashier's window in front of the lens. The day before, one of the thieves, pretending to be a magazine photographer, took a photo of the cashiers posing at their windows. Would you believe it? They managed to hold up the bank without alerting security. Well, well. Hi there. Can I help you? Has anything arrived for me? Name? Fillmore. Fenimore Fillmore. Fillmore. Yes. Um, here it is. It's from Big Town. I've fallen down the well again. Come and rescue me, and I'll give you a couple of bucks. Signed, Sam. A measly couple of bucks. You can stay in the well. Warning. This message will self-destruct. Hi there. I want
Hey, mister. I'll be right with you. I want to buy a newspaper. Which newspaper? I want the one with the story about the escape. That's the nightly moon. It's seven dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. Excuse me a moment. I want to buy a newspaper. Which newspaper? How much is the one with the story about the bridge? The morning sun, five dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. Mexican bullfighter escapes from jail. Ignacio Sanchez, El Mahilas, performed for fellow inmates. A bullfight in which he waved his red cape near a wall. The enraged bull hit the wall so hard it collapsed, allowing the bullfighter to make his escape. The bull has a headache, but should be all right by morning. Incredible. Ten years ago, an explosion destroyed the bridge on the Abilene to Capital City Line. During the war against the rebels, hey, they mean the Confederate forces. A detail blew up the bridge to stop the arrival of reinforcements from Abilene. Interesting. From cover, a marksman shot at well-placed explosives with a Winchester 63 precision rifle. That old 63 was so good. Though they say that the new 73 is even better. I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. What's this for? It's a hydraulic jack. Used for changing wheels. Only eight dollars. Okay, here's the money. Help yourself. I'd rather not. Yes? Excuse me, doctor. Yes? Are you Sterek's doctor? I look after him and his men. I set broken bones. I extract bullets. I take teeth out. That kind of thing. Don't you see any farmers as patients? Farmers are healthy types. They eat artichokes and other food that harms the stomachs of normal folk. What is there to treat when they don't get drunk, fall off horses, or ever get shot? They don't even catch cold. Let's get on with the operation. I have the triple X whiskey and the pliers. Okay. Best let him sleep it off. 